ascension, admiration, amazement, absolvance. That is what I'm feeling on this fine day in the sky as Tuggles turns his way to a new solar system. We've entered the Atlas Interface region, and we have some undiscovered planets here to say hello. I cashed in all of my stuff. I picked up a new inventory slot. I'm loaded up on love and feathers as we freak our way to the next Atlas interface. What will it hold? What will it say? Will there be a pass for us? Who knows? But I do know that we're back in No Man's Sky, so welcome back. Thank you all for all your support. Make sure that like button if you are enjoying and want more wondrous adventures of the space owl that could, the space owl that would, the space owl that did. This is a story told in flashbacks, so what you're seeing has actually happened hundreds of years before. Tuggles is an ancient bird. He lives for, for many a century. He almost resembles Link. He reappears uh, when needed most across, across the galaxy, across cultures, fandoms. But he always appears as a gorgeous white bird. And that white bird is who we take up the mantle of once more here in Legendary Episode 20. This is a monumental time for us. It's a monumental time for Tuggles. It's a monumental time for the universe as a whole. So as we slowly feel ourselves be sucked into the Atlas interface, we feel all of the molecules in our body being urged forward towards a higher consciousness, a higher place, a new level of understanding, a deeper level of sanity and sanctity. And we find ourselves at peace and at one with the bird we know best. Tuggles the Space Owl has ascended. And as we touch these bubbles, they fill our hearts with not only hope, but also a slight fear of what we may become and what we may not become. These are the words that you may hear occasionally sprouted or spouted by a legendary priest or a legendary plant, depending on which word you choose to believe in. Regardless, Tuggles is what gives me purpose, and that is why I venture forth with you in this gorgeous sky that no man has ever journeyed. You see, there's a reason the game is called No Man's Sky, because it's the bird sky. It is the owl sky. It is Tuggle sky. And absent is man. That's why the Viking need to speak such a sad word. And we gathered some knowledge from those heavenly orbs. And now the interface opens its eyes to us. And we say, dark and dark warp cell aplenty. Let's fill up the coffin of our ship with more charges so that it may lift us into the next stage of life and of illumination. This is a very spiritual episode 20. We've learned a lot in our journey. There is purpose in this sea, I told you guys. I am certain the wanderer's way beckons, heedless of direction, freed from all control, but balanced against it is the promise of raw knowledge. The Atlas needs me so it may know itself. I am at the crossroads of a momentous decision. I feel it with every parsec I travel and every feather in my body. The open stars call to me, stirring something primal and undeniable. Primal like my hawkish ancestors. The path toward the end point unfolds. I must decide where my fate lies. Give it to me, baby. Pour your beak of beauty into my wretched sinner soul. Tuggles is here to purge himself of the pain and the drain that a lonely bird faces. Uh, now I've got a blueprint for something I've already made. And... That, my friends, is how one bird quickly went from ecstasy to reality. Because now we're back in a galaxy of emptiness and some planets, and we don't know where to go. It says there are destiny lies in the beyond. Press the down button to open the galactic map. Has the Atlas interface found another Atlas interface? It looks like it. Anomaly detected, reflected, and beautiful. Uh, looks like we've got some steps to take. Right over there, right there, at the Holiday Inn. Uh, I discovered this planet because I landed there to grab a save, so what fun is 
that and hitting that one up. Uh, that planet is far away. We also have this guy surrounded by a yellow love. An abandoned building has been detected. And it is on this planet. Now, I landed here, and the planet seemed kind of lame. So I'm not going to bore you uh, with something of that sort. Instead, I will seek out a greater home for today's adventure. And I guess it lies... Uh Hmm. Yonder. So let's head yonder. Pulse drive engaged. And uh, we will pass the orbit of this giant planet. And uh, make our way towards a... What looks to be a littler one. But we have no way of knowing. We could arrive and it could be absolute mammoth. It could be massive. It could be after... Our heart. It could be after our soul. It, uh, you know, no one knows until we land. Not even Tuggle's long deceased poor father. So we'll head there, and I'll meet you in a minute. Beautiful. Hostile ships have approached and ruined our day. Phase beam me up, Scotty. I'm ready to kill him. Tuggle's is typically not a violent bird. But sometimes pecking needs to be done to show people the pecking order. Boom. Yep, that's how we do. Life is good when you've got the power of everything behind you. And that's what Tuggles has. 38 seconds to trading post, and we will land on Ariazao Maeb Utsum. I also cashed in a lot of my uh, discoveries in between episodes. I didn't really want to bore you with that kind of banana stuff. Um, so I figured I would do it in between and save more of the the good exploration and the goodies uh, for our episode today. 15 seconds, and we will arrive. What kind of birds do you guys like and respect? What kind of owls do you know? Do you know any? Tuggles was recently featured on my Instagram. He's gaining popularity. And uh, I'm pretty sure that he will soon become the most famous... Uh, most famous deity in existence. Until then, though, let's head to this trading post. What kind of planet do we have? I see some red and green. Santa Claus is probably near. Or at least... They like the idea of a Claus. And the planet is... Filled with rocks. But there's, like, grass... Ooh, what is that? It's, like, crystal. Hopefully it's not meth-related. Uh, but we did land here at this beautiful trading post. And so we'll descend down and grab some gras and some goodies. Uh, say hello to this guy. Peaceful climate, undetected. It's just empty. There ain't nothing here but this hound dog. What's up? Whoa. You got the face of my freaking friend. Looks like an ape. I got a special relationship with this dude. I'm an interloper. I'm a warrior. But he says death, death. That's kind of scary. Off. Yeah. Um... Let's offer to help him. I don't know. Ow! Sorry! Wow, he slapped me. I thought we had a special relationship. I guess it's really special. Well, Viking, that was rude. This guy's starship is cool. It's got a nose. I really like that. Okay, I got my Geknip. And, uh... Over her, we've got a little baby ship. A baby ship for babies. Babies with rabies. Those are the worst. Uh, and yeah, I think I have like 700k right now. I'm hoping this planet, since there's like no flora and fauna that has some good resources, maybe? We'll see. Gra, 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 gra. Electron vapor and... Electron vapor, I'm guessing. Okay, let's go see what this is over here. And then eventually we can dump that Gecknip and whatnot. But we're here. We might as well explore a little bit, even if the planet... Seems to be a barren uh, joke of a planet. The sky is beautiful. And we like that. So, it's cool. Otherwise, it's just kind of like a, you know, a wacky world of nothing. Is that gold? It might just be gold. Or nickel? It might be nickel. Oh, it's aluminum. What's the worth of aluminum? Is it over 200? 
Nah, it's not even really worth harvesting. I say we just, like, bust a groove then. This planet doesn't seem to really house a whole lot. I guess we'll see what these tre treasure chests are down here. Plutonium and what? Gold. Plutonium and gold. Eh. Yeah, this planet ain't so cool. I guess we'll just leave. We can start heading to other galaxies. Uh, how many warp cells do we have access to right now? Uh, I need heridium and zinc. I'm not going to find zinc here. I think there was some heridium uh, veins, but, you know, probably not worth the hassle. Let's go to a planet that actually respects us and fills us with all the good things that our heart has come to desire. Um, this trading post was full of an angry man who slapped us, which is one way to treat your guests, I guess. You know, granted, he probably hasn't seen anyone in, like, a millennia or something. I don't know how many people would come to this planet. There's not a whole lot going on here. It's not very interesting. We'll dump our stuff real fast. All right. So, sell the Graga. Sell the Fascination Bead. Sell the gold and the aluminum. We'll just dump all that. Craparella. And we're at 786, as you see. Anything new on the GCN? Um, the suspension fluid. Heridium. Atlas stones. Interesting. Two million. Wow. Quite the expensive purchase. R2. Rip. Um, okay. Let's uh, get off this planet, then. And we will travel intergalactically. Or interstellarly, I guess. I mean, the Alice interface is probably hogging all the resources. Ugh, from this environment. It's absorbed everything into its weird circular mind and body. So, let's head up. Moving skybound, and now we can do some jumps. I do have that upgrade, and I need to figure out how I'm going to get there to use the upgrade. Three planets, a moon, and a warp engine that can reach it. That's always good. Alright, my friends. Welcome to Udasar Karhachi. There is Venus PY94 or something like that. I don't know, that sounds like a pretty awful planet. <laughs> you ask me, um... And... This, is that the same one? Yeah, that's that Venus planet, whatever that's about. Ooh, there's a transmission tower and a space station. Let's head to the transmission tower over here. Okay, I gotta get away from this stupid space station that's trying to hog my limelight here. Alright, bombs away! Six, five, we need to hook it. Hook it and book it. And uh, we'll touch down on this planet. I don't even know what this one's called. Here, let's just aim right for it. Oh, there's a menu facility too. Nice. And a new planet here. That looks interesting. It's not dark colored. It's light colored. It's not red colored. It's brown colored. And... Uh, Maybe it has some mystical things. So we'll land down and uh, say, what's up, space? Bird's got to do what a bird's got to do. It's a sterile, low, full, medium planet. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We'll grab our save game right... No, okay. That's not... No, it's the Ubojo. Wait, U Ubujo. I like Ubujo. One of my best friends. What up? Is it Polo? Polo, are you on the on the planet? No, it's Jeus, Juice, Jouse. Friend, despair. Gek, Gek, oxides. Okay, he needs oxide. But I don't know if I have oxide for you. Uh, okay. I will give you some, but I don't got it right now. Let me interact with your transmission tower. Uh, one, two, four. 1 times 2 is 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. I hate that we've done this so many times, but okay. It's the same dang puzzles. Learn it once, learn the whole galaxy. 
Alright. But we discovered something at least, which is nice. Uh, we have discovered the Ubujo Waste, but that's okay. If you are convinced that we haven't, then squawk to you too. I'm a console. I've met all the aliens. Doing all the things. Reading all the encyclopedias. You guys ever read Encyclopedia Brown? Hey, it's already known. There really are not very many uh, of these, are there? Units received. Units received. Units received. Units! Okay. Um... Mm. Alright, let's at least grab what's over here. Gra gra! Oh, a Viking dagger! Sexy! I'm gonna taste it. Take a little lick. Put it in my mouth and hope I don't bleed all over. Owl blood smells gross. Or so I've been told. What did you say? A bypass chip is required. Alright, let's bypass it. Ugh. Shelter me. Wonderful. Drop pod detect is close by too. It's nice. Okay. I don't see anything interesting over there per se, but I do have some warp cell crafting going on here. I've got the vapor. I just need that heridium and that zank. That zank stank. Uh, let's go. The drop pod is how far? Um, there should be zinc on this planet as far as I know. Or not, I guess. Crashed ship. We'll have to check that bad boy out. There is the possibility that we could at some point find a crashed ship that is better than ours. I know it's incredibly unlikely. But it is quite possible. And I feel like this planet deserves our attention. It has cactus. Oh, that's a little Subio Ziamalis. These are literally just like random words. They didn't even like get like a... I mean, random letters. It's not even really like a name. I mean, maybe it's a name generator, but... Whatever you say, Sean Murray, whatever you say. All right, is that aluminum or nickel? What we got over there? Hey, it's the Meerkat Valley. I'm just gonna make up my own names that sort of sound like what it says, but not quite. I think that's the best way to do this. Uh -huh, okay. Open Sesame. I need your love. I'm just gonna spend all my money on these suit upgrades so I have the biggest backpack the world has ever seen. Huggles, the man, the owl, the myth, the backpack, the legendary bird, whose legend is the biggest backpack in all of space. Um, five hours, that's very, very far. That's very, very far. I guess we should probably head back to our ship. This planet, again, seems kind of devoid of uh, fascinating things. So I guess we'll launch ourselves forward into this chasm of chaos and through the feral fields as we investigate more of the cacti life forms and shoot up the eye. Okay, yeah. Two iron. I didn't want any more. I hear like some moo cows haunting me, but it's sort of like when Mater heard that noise in cars and then he went after it and they did cow tipping and then like the freaking grave digger of a whatever it was field washer vehicle washed mater and almost made him leak and I don't want to lose or ruffle any feathers so I'm kind of intimidated by the sounds I hear what do we got here a healthy flower okay Always good to have some of those. We're getting close. And then we can go check out the crash ship. This may be the crash ship that we've been dreaming of. I don't know. Maybe it knows it's episode 20. It's like, look. 
Normally we would give you a steaming pile of junk, but we're gonna give you a brand new ship that is fully upgraded and repaired, and it was just left here by, uh, I don't know, a, a former legend that we don't even speak of anymore. Launch thrusters are dezed dead. That's good. Alright, we're gonna go to the skies and see if we can propulse. Okay. Yep, we are beelining for it. Okay. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, 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 one is fun. Why is the time increasing as I'm going faster and faster? Crap! Planetary interference, of course. Why would I aim up? Is it like... This is so freaking weird. Head back to the skies. Okay. Why? Five. Okay, I think we're good. It is really far away. But we've gotten... To, okay, now we're making good progress. I'm just going to cruise in now. Sorry for that. Navigating the stars can sometimes be difficult. I must have had a feather in my eye. It's still... Wants to take a whole minute? Aim right at it. Bullseye! Four, three, two, one. Okay. This is as good as we're going to get and as close as it's going to be. This planet is very, it's shaped very weird because this is the most difficult they've ever had navigating to a place. And even though I'm getting closer, the time. What in the world is happening? Okay, back to the stars we go. This is freaking me out. Elevate into space. My, uh, my birdly sensors have been buzzled. Okay. This has got to be it. Crash land into the crash ship so we can become the crash ship and take the ship that they have. How's that sound? Look at that. That was almost perfect. Now we're functioning like the flyer we know we are. And a pachupi. Land me down. Put her down right there, right there. All right, let's go check this out. Bad boy, bad boy, where are you? What could the crash ship hold? We'll find out, we'll find out. Ah! Ooh, it looks like a very, it looks like Slave One. Slave One, come in, Django. 23 slots, let's compare it. My current ship is 22, but everything is broken. But we can fix it pretty fast. Although, I would really rather probably save the... Okay. Everything can be fixed. And it's got good weapons. The issue is... What do I need to fix my hyperdrive upgrade? Or put that into practice? Iridium and copper. Oh. But I like this new ship so much. I feel like we should just like be crazy and go for it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I think we should do that. I think we should take it, but you guys let me know. Take the ship or keep our current. Take or keep. Take or keep. Take or keep. Hey, we got some new tech. It's better beam tech. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Take or keep. What do you want us to do? What do you think is the smart move here? 
This ship is super cool looking. It's only got one more slot, but it's got some better, uh, better weapons. And it's just got a sexy design. And it's orange, and it's named the Hamamiga. Which I really, uh, I'm kind of a fan of, and Tuggles is too. So let me know what you think. Should we join the Habamiga? I, I really want, I mean, like, okay. We have to buy a new dynamic resonator. And, oh, it's got a warp reactor sigma already on it. Dude. Oh, that's, okay. So we, basically we just need to buy another dynamic resonator and then work on our iridium and copper gathering, which we really need to do anyways. And then get a bunch of, I could go buy all this stuff and then have a brand new ship with better weapons. I could use some help. We could add that on. This is pretty sexy. What do you guys think? Look at it. Look at it. It kind of looks like an ant with a big butt. Look at it. Look at it. I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Well, there's even like a portal for the droid to go right there and look out of the giant helmet and be like, Whoa. Anyhow. That's No Man's Sky. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what we should do about that dang ship in the comments below. Take or keep. Take or keep. I hope to have your vote soon. Until that time, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. 20 episodes. We have been cruising along. We have been going for gold. And now it's time to go for copper. Not because we're weak, but because we're strong and we know what we need. You can't always have what you want, but you can get what you need. Or That's like what they say. Uh, let's go to the top of Mount Everest. This kind of looks like a Yeti mountain where maybe a big creature would live or something. Before today's show is done, uh, just to give you guys an extra little bit of excitement. What kind of thing lies at the top of a Yeti peak? Well, my friends, Tuggles will tell in about three, two, one. It's aluminum! And I guess we'll harvest that. <laughs> Until next time, thanks again. Oh, I love you! Hit that like button if you're having fun. Let me know about the ship, and we'll see you all later.